Hello, I want to show you how you can uh, tether your iPad to your MacBook and then during a Teams meeting, you can use your iPad as a document camera. Now, ideally, you should have an arm or a holder, right, to put your iPad in and then it would display using the camera, display uh, whatever is below. And then you could use, again, like use your iPad as a document camera. I also want to show you how you could just open up Microsoft's whiteboard on your iPad. Even though I'm running this meeting from my MacBook, I could open up whiteboard and do some work that way as well. So I'm going to share my screen. You're seeing the desktop. So I'm going to go to QuickTime in my spotlight search. And in quick time, I'm going to open up a new movie recording. You will have to click the drop down and see the list of cameras available. You have to select your iPad to display that camera, uh, not your camera from your MacBook, of course. Now, now that I'm in my iPad, I could do a few. And like I said, you could use your iPad as a document camera at this time, as long as you had the equipment to position it correctly. This is Microsoft Whiteboard, the iPad app. And I'm going to just click on one of those recent apps. And I could do uh, some math work, for example, with my students right here on my iPad. But, they, uh, but I'm running the team meeting from my MacBook. The Whiteboard app on an iPad is really nice because I could add in a picture from my camera, I could add in a note, different text, I could display an image on my whiteboard and then mark over top of the image using the whiteboard app. Of course, I could put uh, a list of different things. Lots of stuff I could do in the whiteboard app, Microsoft Whiteboard for iPad. It's really nice.